Hello. Hey, uh, what's up? Uh, I'm Matu, and I wanted to make a small tutorial uh, regarding um, regarding how to edit the PlayStation 3 save. Uh, this is primarily, I think, for Cypher, and it may be for other people too, but in the event um, that you're curious, this is how you edit the game. So one of the things you actually need is this, which is PlayStation 3 Brute Force save data. Um, which pretty much allows you to edit the game save to your liking. Okay, the second you need, the second thing you actually need is information, which is located all all around this part here. Okay, uh, and the reason why you need the information is because you actually need to, uh, need to know these codes that people have created, and you can use these codes uh, for your game. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. There's also another way to actually do it, which is a bit more easier way, which is like, uh, uh, I think it's like PS3 game save genie thing. And if you search it on Google, you should be able to actually find it here, which is the game genie. So this is a more automated system than what I'm about to do. Uh, it does the same thing, but it does it in a much more easier manner in which you don't have to do all of this extra work that I'm about to do here. Uh, so with that said, let's get started. So first things first, you actually need to copy your game save uh, to a flash drive. Uh, so within, in this case, I'm going to some, uh, some, uh, some game saves are actually encrypted and you can't copy them as far as I know, but um, they, they're like, uh, if you have a legit PlayStation 3, I think that if, if, if you have a custom firmware one, uh, that should be fine. But in most cases, in most cases, uh, you might, you might not be able to actually, uh, copy it. Well, in, in, in most cases you will be able to actually copy it. So with that said, You have to look for the save that you want to copy. So in my case, it's going to be this game. After that, you want to copy it to your flash drive. In my case, it's this one right here. Copying process should take a pretty, you know, it shouldn't take a long time at all. After that, you want to go back. And now that I have um, gotten it within the computer, well, within the flash drive, you want to connect the flash drive to your computer. So I'm going to do that really quick. Okay, uh, I've just connected the flash drive, so we're gonna go back to the uh, to the desktop, and in the desktop it should be under over here, and there it is. So that's the flash drive, um, and you want to look for the folder called PlayStation Three. Double click on it, save. Now you want to look for the game save for um, for what's that thing called? Sorry, <laughs> I'm drawing a blank here. For, for Tales of Exalia 2. Uh, easy way to find it is in most cases, whenever you're looking for the codes and stuff, uh, it will have this these lettering, which pretty much tells you what you're looking for. So in my case, it says BLE501. So BLE501 should have it. Sorry, my eyes are not working really well. Another way you can actually find it in the event that you're having a difficult time is actually by going by date modified. So this is the latest one that I have so far. So if I double click on this, uh, an easy way to tell if this is the one is to actually look at this file, which is the icon zero the, the, dot PNG. And that pretty much tells you uh, whether whether you're you're you know whether you're on this you're on the right path and this is the right one because this this is the tales of exalia 2 symbol so 
after you have this, you want to actually copy this. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, you want to copy this so that way in the event that you mess up somehow, you can actually rewind back and be fine. Uh, in, in addition to that, you want to move it to somewhere where you can easily access it um, the next time. So I'm going to move it towards here and I'm going to move it in the downloads folder. So now it is in there and, and now I'm going to access it through this program here, which is the uh, brute force save data, you know. Um, they don't update this program anymore uh, because the creator was like, screw this. And then the, the other person just left. So, uh, okay, so this is 31397. So we're looking for 31397. And this is the one right here. So we do that. And now after we click on that folder and we press OK, it brings up this thing here. And what this thing does is that this actually tells you... Um, that you're on the right path again so if you if you see this you've done everything correctly so far so then the next thing to do is that uh, in some cases you might already have uh, the option to apply cheats to this thing but the first thing that you want to do is to unencrypt un this uh this save file so let me see if i can actually figure out i haven't done this in a long time um, so, uh, bear with me as I try to figure this out. I'm not sure what I just did there. Rebuild, decrypt. Okay, so, after you double click on this, um, I, don't, I don't know if I actually had to double click, but you uh, uh, after you actually click on this, you want to click on decrypt PFD. And you want to decrypt all files. Yes. And now all of the game files are decrypted. Now you want to go into cheats and go in to open select file in open patch file in text editor. Uh, create a new one. Yeah, sure. Okay. So now, so just to actually go through the steps again. So you click on this, you click on decrypt PFT. After you do that, you make sure that all files are decrypted. After you do that, you want to go into open file, or sorry, open patch file in text editor. Actually, let me see what this does. Okay, th this is if you actually want to make cheats. Um, hmm. Do I already have something like that? Okay, apparently I have a lot of cheats here, but Tales of Exalia is not one of them, sadly. So we're going to not save this and we're going to move on. But, but uh, in some cases, you might already have cheats if you have this program. Uh, but in, a, in many cases, that may not be the you may not have that option. So uh, next thing to, to do is to click over here. This will open up. You want to open it up with, with Notepad. You, you can open it up with whatever you want, but I prefer to do it with the Notepad. After that, you want to copy and paste everything that is here. Uh, one sec. And then you want to click file and save. You can also hold on control and, and press S to actually do it faster. It's a, it's a much better hotkey shortcut. So after you do that, you click on sheets, you go on open in the selector, and now it is all there as, as, as you can clearly see. So now, I believe there was a way to actually apply cheats. So if I, if you click, if you click on apply cheats here, it's going to give you the option to actually apply various cheats within the game. So now you can pretty much actually just take tick mark whatever you want within the game. In my case, I'm going to make it so that debt to pay is only 200. I'm going to make it so that the gold is Nine 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 nine. All right. What else looks interesting? Title codes. I don't really care about how titles. Great shop items. 
Udgur's voice, item max 99, etc, etc, item shop, everything. So you can literally get every single thing that is available within the game this way. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I do want all fashion items. And I guess I do want this too, because I think that'll that'll be cool. Because they'll, they'll they'll get all types of different. Nah, actually, you know what? I don't want that actually. Let's not get that. Not let's not get anything that would enhance my my character by quite a bit. So after that, just press apply. So once you've chosen your your type of cheats. So in this case, I just want these two. And then press apply. Three cheats were applied. Uh, I don't know which uh, which other one was applied, but okay. Okay, and after that, what you want to do is you want to e encrypt your files. So you want to encrypt all files. Yes. And now everything is encrypted, and you can tell because of the fact that this this area here, this square here, is no longer green. Is that is that a bug? Oh, that's a bug. <laughs> There's a bug on my monitor right now. <laughs> Weird. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to rebuild. And you want to rebuild rebuild full. You want to update it with the profile that I have. Okay. After that, you're pretty much done now. Uh, the only thing left now is to actually just, just um, take this save file, which will be located over here and cut it and paste it back into your pen drive so the file that you had there was this one let me verify that and since it's this one you just basically to delete it and replace it with the one that you've just edited after that you close this and then we're going to go back to the playstation 3 so just give me a second Okay, almost done. All right, so going back to PlayStation 3. Okay, I've just connected it. Oh, I've uh, made a pretty big mistake. Uh, so what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to copy this to my online storage. Although I don't think I can log in right now. Yeah. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it to another profile. There we go. Okay. All right. Good. So in the event that something goes wrong, I can access the save files. So one of the things that you want to do is you want to back up your original save file. Because if you don't do that, things might go really bad. So with that said, this is the edited file. So the only thing you need to do now is just copy it. And... And you want to overwrite your, your your current save. So in this case, we're overwriting. You're overwriting the old save with the new one. Okay, so that's done. Next up is to actually go into Tales of Exalia.
Now, if everything is correct, uh, the saved debt amount will be only 200 gold, which means we'll be able to pay it off immediately. Okay. And we're in. Continue. Checking DLC. So this is the same same save. We stopped at Duval Station, and uh, I think uh, we we were gonna do another story mission, if I remember correctly. Hello, Luger. How are things in the agent biz? And as you can see, the gold is nine point or I guess 999 million and the old the amount of debt balance is 200 which I can pay immediately so and then get that done and that's it so when I start the next part I'll actually go through this and just and just start it here and just show you that uh, that I've been successfully able to do this properly so well that's it that's it and this uh, concludes the tutorial for Tales of Exalia. Well, uh, the tutorial is actually uh, is actually for uh, whoa, sorry about that. Uh, the the tutorial is pretty much for the save editor stuff. So now that that's done, uh, next time I'll just start off and I'll have all of that stuff. So, with that said, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something here today. Even though it's just following very basic steps, yeah, in the event that you have any questions, be sure to just let me know. And I will and uh, I will try my best to answer it as clearly as possible. So with that said, thanks for watching and have a good day. Also, do not listen to that guy. He's weird. Anyways, all right. Bye-bye.